thinking about shutting this one down. If I can find it. No, don't close us down. All right, you guys are out of work. Go, uh, go find a house to build. Hey folks, welcome back. I see that Handyshire is now a bustling city. Last episode at the end, or after the last episode, I ran it for a while to uh, let the game kind of catch up to all this construction. And I uh, need more stone, need more wood. Ran it for a while, thought I would not go too long though, because most likely we're going get to get some excitement here soon, and want you to be here when it happens. Raining. No thunder. No lightning, no fires. Good thing. Just rain, which means just floods. No floods there, no floods there, no floods there. Just a peaceful spring rain. Okay. The game can be nice. So where are we? I see we're... Eh, not the greatest on, on uh, uh, charcoal. We're just getting it in this area now. And I only turned on one... I didn't want to overwhelm us. Um, still no idle workers or idle peasants because they're all working over here. Uh, so as far as being able to employ more of these, let's see, Zero wanted to stay. One of our peasants unfortunately has drowned. So much for a peaceful spring rain. Um, so do we turn on one more of these? We we're at 9, now we're at 15. Let's let that go for a little while. We are having a hard time bringing in enough ore to make up or to keep up with things so talked about putting another iron mine right here that's probably the right timing to do that so let's get that one going iron mine where are you at right there and that looks good all right you're in and that didn't have a noise so he I'm going back to my banished days i just feel like wanting to move this thing off to the side so i can see it happening Vikings are invading. What have you? What are you gonna throw at us? Well, four so far, and the tank, and that's it. Just a standard attack force. Okay, we're at 270-ish uh, people, which I guess is the the size that warrants this. Maybe when we hit 300 we'll get more. But I like the way the arrows are coming in even before they get off the boat. That is nice. Let's zoom in here and watch the watch the show. Come on, take him out, guys. This guy's back here of torches. We've got four so far. Don't see torches over there. Alright, well that one's on fire. And I see we're still following the lead uh, Viking, and as he dies, we shift over to the next Viking. Oh, he's the next one now. He's back on the ship. All right, let's watch this group here. So it's almost like it follows the torch, the torchers. What should we uh, name those guys? The torch bearers is not quite the right phrase. Taking them out. We losing anybody? Ah, we lost somebody in there. Lost two in there. Nope, just the torch dude there. Empty, empty. And where is Ogre? He's just knocking over the trees like weeds. Well, can you can you go off to the side? Thank you. Save me some trees. And listen to the sound. Wow. He's going to be pretty well damaged before he takes his first swipe at our tower. Which should take what? Oh, ho, ho. sorry, dude. So, I'm thinking three hits on a tower. Alright, that worked out really well. And he went all the way over here to, to go in. So, we're well defended in this area as far as ogres. Not too bad from this side as far as Vikings. What I had thought about doing is maybe popping some smaller towers in between. Just little spots here and there, like right there and you know, over here with just archers. Maybe three high and some archers just to kind of fill in the gaps in between. Right now, I really want to get these towers finished. And I can't click on them to see how many are working because it I think it's showing me the top layer and not showing me what's underneath. So I'll never get an accurate number. But we still have zero 
idlers. Um, people are not happy that we've had an attack, so let's go ahead and get the bang, bang, bang going. There we go. That's not so bad. On our way to 70, let's send us up to like... Mm, there we go. Like 90 or so. Before this year ends. Let's make sure we've maxed out our housing. So we're heading for 85. Good. Alright. Now, before that interruption, got in another way to... Are you already employed? Almost. Another way to bring in more ore so we can make more tools. Um, charcoal's a little iffy. Food's getting a little iffy. I wanted to build... What I want to do is get more houses in. We've got... We're already set up to handle one, two, three, four, five more manors. But that's going to tap all of our services dry. Five is another 125, so we're in close to 400 on our uh, population. That's too much. So we need to tackle services as we are adding people, adding housing. But, boy, that's loud. I would imagine that next, uh, next beta is going to take care of that. I think that's been mentioned. They're, they're working on sound. Um, to put in services, I need workers. To get workers, I really need... I just saw all the food coming into the market. To get workers, I need housing. But housing is going to tap the services. So it's always a balancing game here. I either, if I go over here, I've got to put two in. So let's put one in right there. we got our market in. That's the same footprint. That'll service this area. There's nothing else that needs to be done except maybe church as far as touching these areas. I'm not sure where the next church will go. Tavern was here, hiding in there. He's got everything covered, not a problem. Okay, so we need to figure out where to put the next church. Otherwise, we can go ahead and get a house going. Just thinking about labor. I see... We didn't put anything on top of this. Uh, build and stack to form... Okay, so we didn't put anything on top of that. So we've got four of seven workers here. That was interesting. Of seven. Did that just change? Build point 1031. That's the same. But that's always said zero of five workers before. Huh. That just changed. Interesting. Anyway, workers are pretty much done with these projects. I'm just debating, do I get the, the top of the towers in first? It may be a while before our next, uh, our next Viking attack. I was looking for fire right now. We do have a fire. Nope, that fire is supposed to be there. These guys here. Yeah, it's no wonder we catch on fire. Sparks and cinders flying off of that, moving in the wind. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's just asking for trouble. Alright, town, manor. You know the way they, they mesh into each other? It looks like it's almost a continuous run between here and here. Like you can't tell where one building ends the next begins. I like that. These, you've got a gap between. Do we have a gap between over here? No, they blend into each other like they're supposed to be that way. Woohoo! All right, let's go out a little bit. There we go. So from this side. Now we do have a bit of a gap in the front, right there. So you don't see from the back. I guess you do from this side. Boy, it's hard to reposition. Yeah, the, 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 the focal point, the, the axis, I guess, is so far away that when you zoom in, you just lose the ability to, to fine-tune it. You've got to go out here and fine-tune it and then zoom back in. Anyway, house is going in. Dragon. That is the big one. That's the big one. Let's see what he's going to do. Boy, if he lands on our stuff here, you're going to flame us, aren't you? Ugh, zoom in this way. There we go. Terrible plague hits 10. He's yelling. Oh, he's going down, he's going down, and I can't move my camera fast enough. He went down and took out the tavern. Is that what was there? Yeah, took out the tavern. 
Well, it could have been far worse. Any damage on here? I guess if it did, there'd be a, a, a wall or fence around it. Okay. Well, clear out the tavern, but next one in. Town. Tavern. And face him that way. He went there? Is that the best place to put it back? Probably is. It, it hit everywhere we needed it to go. Yeah, let's not start messing with that. Hmm. Okay. So, food... 750. This has got to go in first. Then we've got to get towers going. And then we've got to get food going. I think that's the order. Uh, and then... Well... Charcoal fits into there where? We still have some to the positive. Charcoal, 10 of 10. Charcoal, 5 of 5. 11 of 10. Okay, we're fine on charcoal for now. Tools? Well, we're starting to catch up again because the ore is coming in. Did you ever get up and running? You did. Three of three. Okay, good. So all the services are working. Food is the next one that's going to be iffy. We were in the 1100s as our peak before. Looks like we're pretty much... Well, we got another load coming in right here. These guys are just hidden there. And one more load coming... Oh, here's another, another big load coming in right here. When that one hits... But it's leaving as fast as it's going in. So we're, yeah, we're a couple hundred less than what we were uh, at the end of last episode. So we do need to get more, more food coming in. I guess I could set those, well, I want the towers in first, though. I have a feeling the next attack's coming in from this side somewhere. And that is our weak spot right now. All of these archers and, and ballistas are in. This was the last area to do. And if I were a Viking, this is where I'd be coming in. So we're basically done there five of five are working and three are idle let's get going but let's just go on the high ones uh castle ballista you're going there and you're kind of able to protect the base of those other ones yeah i think you can even hit this one out over here and ballista here you can hit that one and that one only all right castle archers going there archers have a much bigger radius so they go on the lower one, right there. I was going to say, hey, there already there already is one in there. Okay, right here, he hits the base of all those. Yep. All right, we get those built with the labor that's going to come out of this house. So how close are we to finishing that? Uh, try that again. There you are, 15 wood. 276 wood. Wow, we've caught up with materials. Oh, that's nice to see. So with that, because we've got this going... I'm sorry, this is additional wood over here. And we've still got... How many? All oh, right, over here. Two quarries over here. A quarry over here. So three quarries. And one, two, three wood. Or foresters. Though they're also supplying all of the charcoal. Okay. Are we in here? Four more wood. Let's get a, a noisy festival going kick ourselves up to ensure well I can't see that in the in the snow where is the other town square here right there to ensure that at the end of the year which I may have just missed zero people wanted to stay darn it that's what I was wanting to catch this is still building one more wood so I think we have to wait another year to fill those those uh, new beds unfortunately that's gonna take us to 295 so still under the threshold for the new church. Done? Done. 295. Happiness 82. Let's see if the... I think the end of the festivals will say a certain number of people visited the festival and X number stayed. Let's see if I'm remembering that correctly. Otherwise, food. These guys are in and building. There'll be lots of people to do the building once the festival ends and these people stay. So let's give them something else to start building. I'm thinking we want... Oh, food. Let's get this second ring in. Is that wise? Or do we go over here? One thing about here is to get more food and then get the, the granaries in. And we'll have easier access for the market over here. So I think that is something that needs to be done. Do that. And let's go ahead and hit this dark green one. 
It won't have the bonus of a mill, but it will have its own bonus built in. So that's fine. In fact, I think the bonus is kind of similar. Let me think about that. The mill gives us a bonus of two, right? Mill nearby two. The dark green. Do we have another dark green available? Not in... Oh, right there is. So the extra fertile. Plus four versus a regular fertile. Plus two. It's the same. That's good to know. So a farm on any of the darkest greens is the same as being next to a mill. Only when you can get a dark green and a mill, then you get an even bigger bonus. But, alright, that works good. Food, mill. Let's get this. They're already putting them in. Are we really done here? No, we're not. So we just have 295. That's why we have filled our town. And in time to start growing. Maybe, maybe. Employ it, guys. Let's see if we can get these fields in. Still in the 900s. We're just finishing bringing in the last of the foods. And we're getting ready for next year's crop. Alright, so that's going in granaries. That's important over here. So I don't have room for a big one. But we can put in a couple of little ones. Let's do that. Food. Small. There? Or there? Or there? Hmm... Do we need to walk through here? That's an honest question. I have a feeling farm to everything else is going to be... Do they really walk that much faster on the roads? Watch these guys. Yep, they do. Just a burst of speed. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I'd like to put the, the granary here. Or here, or here. And that wipes out everything but right there left. If I were to run a road right there. Could put it here. I'm thinking we're going to need at least two. One there. And right here would be nice and close to... Where'd it go? Uh, so the market's over there. Well, if the market's over there, then it seems that this is a given. Right here. Okay. So that's a good middle point between the market and the farms. This would be a better midpoint than this one to, between the market and the farms too. And it will help with farms that are further down this direction where there's more green. Okay. Just reasoning my way through this. Let's go ahead and road through there. We'll skip the well. I'm just looking at wells. Well well and well so we don't need to add another is there any reason to move this well um unfortunately i can't boy that bottom of the screen is right there um i can't take it away well I, okay i guess let's do it this way demolish so wells i was thinking of putting it there will that still give me this area that's our weak zone right now. Let's find out. Town, well, if I went here, it really takes right there to get this area. If I go right here, we're thin there and there. If I go here, actually, that works pretty good. It hits this area just fine, and it covers all that area. Maybe even better than it did before. Hmm. That is a nice blue everywhere. I had thought of the idea of being able to punch a road through here if I needed to, but I don't know that I really need to. Alright, let's look at wells, and this spot or this spot, does it matter? Just kind of using my peripheral vision to glance around the whole screen at the blue. Nothing is altering or changing. No, it doesn't matter. You just go right there. Alright then. You're going to go there. And we're going to put one more road in. That was the point of that whole thing. <laughs> Alright, so food. 600s. And that's where it should be. It's 900 when the harvest is, is done. So we'll watch at the end of this harvest. Otherwise, we could start thinking about another round of housing and a church. And something else like... I'm going to pause. Nope. Didn't get there in time. Alright. Go ahead and take off. Um like a, an orchard or something but I need to see my greens to do that 
Um, so glancing around here. Good farms over here. So two rounds of farms basically there. Over here. Two rounds of farms over here. So if we could get out over here with two rounds of farms. We'll be coming in from all directions. Completely surrounding the homes with easy access food. Just looking at the possibilities here. Let's hit pause. You know, something like this would be great. Green circle with a dead zone for the mill, but we have this. I don't have it there. I don't have it here. I do have it here. And I see I've accidentally left my... Like we do that. Give me the tower. Okay. So if I right if I left click all these circles go away if I right click it stays now I can see all the coverage this one does the whole area that one so this right here is completely is protected by three different towers is that what I'm getting yeah three different towers in there unfortunately I don't have a farm well, this is protected by two towers this is good here well now just two towers where do we put a farm that has the least likely chance of our farmers being stolen? That's kind of what I'm taking a long time to get around to. <laughs> a farm there gives us room for a... Is that a big granary? I think it is. A farm there. And... Another farm there. And another tower. Okay, I can see that. Let's let her loose. Well, no, let's not. It's going to turn white on me again. I won't be able to see what I'm doing. So, food. Let's just lay these out. Farm. The thought was one, two, three. Oh, roads, roads, roads. Hmm. Okay. Town. Road. Coming from here. At least get me to there. Okay, we'll go with that. Now farms. Yeah. What did I do? I can't get to this one, though. I fix that by moving the road down this way. Which could work. That could work. So we're there, coming around like this. There, there. We're milling there. Road. And there. And town, food, farm, that gave it to us. Okay. And then the mill was in between. So we could get one more round of farm out over here. We can get, uh, boy, if I stop the road, I can get an orchard there. I can get an orchard over here. Okay. So there's access to food there. Do we need to defend this area? And we're going to need more people zero idlers more people to supply all of this so let's go one more round of those and another burst of people will allow us to continue building and still have some idle folks so town manor and right there okay i'm seeing expansion in handyshire so a bustling city let's see what 300 is called and we're gonna need a church now where how church doesn't really matter the sphere of influence by the time we finish all of these two and these two we're going to need yet another church we need two more churches so where we are heading long term i well, we need another church for that as well so only 100 per church maybe a little bit shy as far as uh coverage i think we well Although, if you think about it, a medieval type church with a hundred people in it, that's probably quite a full building. Okay. Yeah, I've got to give that to him. I think that's probably right. It's just that maybe the sphere is a little big. Because you can, if, well, because we're building with manors now, we can fill that up with far more than a hundred in there. Hmm. Okay. That bell. Imagine that going off when there's a fire. I would love to hear that. 
Ding, 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 ding. And go search for the fire in, in town. All right, now, what am I doing? What am I doing? Food. Housing. Church. Here? It'll be a, a prime target, that's for sure. Tower. Let's go for tower first. But where would I put the tower? Let's go for granary. Food. Large granary. There. Because I cannot put a, a orchard there. No. So that... And does it need to be a large one? And we've got a lot of storage capacity in town, but you need it focused where it's actually needed. Hmm... Is a large needed there, or is a road needed there? I guess that's what I'm debating right now. Let's look at this from another angle. And I know this has got to be bugging some of you. <laughs> Should we put in a, uh, a pier there? Let's see here. Town. Where is that? There. Let's do that and go ahead and turn our road around. I could put it right there, but I kind of want the little uh, the little puddle that they fall into and interesting they do fall into it and really take their time what if this is where they're drowning huh all right we will put it in right there then town pier yeah they are kind of falling into that space all right well with that that's a house no it isn't houses over here what is this it could be a house no it could be two houses Unless we pulled out two of these and put a manor in. Do we ever determine... Wants access to road. And access to road gave them... Eight. But our overall... We're trending toward 90 right now. Yeah, we're doing fine. What do our advisors have to say? I haven't checked on them in a while. Hmm. Good day, sire. Hmm. The peasants think you're an excellent ruler. Hmm. And yeah, took too long to pick the harvest in... Yeah, he has just got this thing about wasted food. Charcoal, still hurting. All right, let's give you some help. We'll do that one. Tools, fine or great. Enough great that I'm thinking about shutting this one down. If I can find it. No, don't close us down. All right, you guys are out of work. Go, uh, go find a house to build. Otherwise, yeah, no idle workers, so they did. So we have food here. We need storage. That's what we were doing. Do I want to road into this? It's not going to be a contiguous road. It's going to be just a spur. Give them a little burst of speed as they run out of here to here. I like that. Let's do that. Town, road, there, there. So that we can put in a granary, right? there. And we'll turn it to face the, the farmers. If that truly is a door and if it means anything. It really doesn't. I mean, it's the doors over here, but I see them walking into the, the butt of this building from all directions and, and just dump off. They just appear out of whatever side they touch it. So it's really for our sake that it looks good, not for theirs. They, they just walk right through walls. And these are waiting for workers. I see. So we still don't have a true representation of how much food we've got. Interesting. Plus, how much food is wasted because there isn't a granary over here. Okay. So with that, a burst of workers are about to come in, waiting for six. Let's go ahead and get that going. A hoppiness of 90. We'll do just one festival. Only be half as loud. Uh, well coverage? Let's think about that. Town? Yeah, we're hurting over here. But I still need to know where that church is going to go. There's a dead spot. Hmm. Where is the church going to go that I don't accidentally put the well in the way? Alright, let's think about that church. Town, church. I thought about them going here. Is that the best? I need a two by three. So that's our limitation. We can get rid of the well and do that, but that's a house. 
These are houses. Is there any benefit to heading into a place like this? Um, if we were to expand out further, where would we go? I'm thinking it's out over here for houses. The ground is just too nice over here. Too, uh, too lush. Too much food comes out of there. So it's this direction next. I'm thinking a road goes through there. Or it goes through here. Either one works. Let's road through here. And church near the tower. Help defend it. That kind of works. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that truly open? There's no way to food in this area. So show me the church right there. Too far away from roads. Okay. So we're taking care of that, kind of. Yeah, one, two, three from the road right there. That will work. If we went over here, it wouldn't work. Okay. Terrible Plague 80 have taken ill. Wow. Let's watch the result of this and decide whether we've got to get into hospitals. One more hospital. All right, all the food popped over there. We have farmers now over here. And as much as I want to get that going, I know what's going to happen here real soon. We're going to get thumped by some Vikings. Let's castle put in... I think the space was right there. One, two, three, four, and castle archers right there. All right, give them a little bit of assistance. And we need to think of some of those smaller towers and random places around here soon, like maybe right in here. And over on the other side of this church that I'm putting in. Okay, town. Uh, 320 of 320. We are there. Happiness has dropped because... Negative 6 churches recently too crowded. Negative 15 on ease from recent plague. Negative 8 sadness from recent plague deaths. Lost 4 out of 80. Of course, losing any is bad, but that's some pretty good... Uh, that's a 90-some percent uh, uh, success rate there. Boom! That was a quick uh, burst of, of flames in our town. Wow. Yeah, I think we need to ring the bell. <laughs> fire's out, fire's out. Ah, dragon too. Ring the bell. Yeah, we need... Oh boy, you're in a bad spot. Don't you take out my farm. Okay. We need the bell to ring for every emergency that hits. That would be basically their warning system back then, except maybe someone yelling through the streets, yelling, hear ye, hear ye. But the church bell would probably be it. All right, what can we do to wrap this thing up? Let's see if the church fits now. Town, church goes in there, and faces, I think faces this way. I think we're, we're going to be building out in here next. So let's go there. Church goes in. All right, uh, fire coverage. They're covered by this guy, yes. Over here, fire coverage never got dealt with. So not going to put a church in there. What does go in here? I think it's temporarily the well goes um, town well. I'm thinking here, but it really could be further down, like right there. Provides fire protection, don't fall in. Is there any chance that is a source of accidental drownings? Huh, interesting. All right, with that, oh, food is in the 1200s. Are we done? We're done. All right, we're back to the 1200s for food. So with that, I think we're in pretty good shape. We've got... Another house to put in. Let's set that for next time because these folks don't have neighbors. So we'll get that going. Church is going in. Roads are all in. Uh, a little more help with defenses. I'm sure we're about to get a Viking attack soon. That's why I kind of want to shut this down before it happens. So we can catch that all within the same episode. And I think we're looking pretty good. Maybe any comments with uh, hints and tips and... And uh, I guess I'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.